this is Russell Rayford with the RayfordStudio.com and I'm doing this one on my Samsung Vibrant. I want to try out something different and um, see how the video turns out. I've used everything from camcorders to cameras to flip videos, my G1, now I'm using my other, my new phone, my Vibrant. So we'll see how it turns out. This is a new piece I did. It took me, actually took me a while, it took me a few hours. but. It wasn't because it was complex or anything, it just took a while to do certain things like the heart down here is made up of just different pieces of paper but I had to cut the arteries out and everything and layer them on top of each other, small things like the veins and everything. Um, this started out as a little, uh, started out as a frame, not a frame, but like a board that you can hang on the wall that had a picture on it. I got it from Walmart. And I figured I'd try something new, you know, so I could do my sanding techniques because it's really hard to do those on canvas if the canvas is already stretched over a frame. If it's not over a frame already, then you can sand it or do whatever, but most of the times when I'm using canvas, I've already stretched it out and everything. Um, this is just some rusty nails that I found in my backyard. Old bottle cap from a um, Coke bottle. Some, um,. Plugs like from I think I took that from this Frogger game or something, and this uh, another Marilyn Monroe piece. I know you guys are probably getting tired of that. I've done like three or four in the past month. Um, it's actually it's actually raised a little. You can't you can tell a little bit. You can definitely see it when when you're looking at it, but I don't know. Let me see if I can hold it this way to show you. You still can't really, the nails are in the way. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see underneath where it's raised. And has a little key around the neck. And then the lock is on the heart. And I was going for this whole, like, the Venus in a half shell type thing. But it was kind of an afterthought. So I had to just make do, you know. Otherwise I would have put this, the other half of the shell behind her from the beginning and everything. But it was too late, so I just kind of added it on the front. And I had to saw it in half, which oysters take a really long time to saw. They're not like, they're not as brittle as, as um, clams are. Clams are, you can cut through those pretty easy. Um, used a band saw on it, and it's not, it took a while to get through it. Especially to do it and make it accurate. And you can see where it, um, it flaked a little bit uh, right in here, where it chipped a little bit when I was going through. So, yeah. Overall, I like it. Different techniques, different styles. Splattered a little bit of paint and blew it around. I actually had it all over the side, but then I just sanded it off because I wanted the sides to remain like brown and raw the way they were. So this is my latest one. No, I take that back. It's not my latest, but one of my latest. And hopefully it looks well because from what I'm looking at in the camera, it looks really nice. But we'll have to see how it fares when I put it up on YouTube. Um. Here is another piece that I'm working on. It is going to be a Native American piece. I know it looks kind of like outer space or whatever, but it'll all get tied in and everything. Um, the actual actual skull walking through my house is outside drying because normally I put things in the oven when I'm doing paper mache, but the oven is not big enough, so I tried to put it in a dryer on a drying rack. But the dry, I put it in there, I got it to fit, but I didn't account for the horns and the little, the little things on the side that make the clothes tumble. And those start hitting the, they start hitting the horns, so now the horns all dinged up and rough. So I have to straighten it out. I'm not done with it, you see I only have one eye and it's pretty raw. I need to do the other side. But, um, yeah, this is what I have so far. Yeah. I like it. It's turned out well. I have to sand the inside. I'm still debating on the color. First, I was going to do, like, red and, um, a really, really, like, crimson, not crimson, um, candium red. And then I changed my mind from that, and because I was going to do that with the turquoise, um, because I think it, when, when the turquoise is over the red or the red's over the turquoise, you get a really nice effect. And the effect that I'm talking about is like this right here. The way that turquoise just really pops on top of that red. 
the element of beauty one of my older paintings I did I think that was the end of last year when I did that one and I just love turquoise everyone knows that knows, knows the turquoise and red and black are like my favorite colors so there's another one where I've just about everything has turquoise in it just about everything a lot of my art is not in here right now my art with the rest of the other artists art is in the Ray Ford studio so you know we're trying to open up and everything and there's some more like you can definitely see the color scheme that I really follow even and even in the variations like even though the one with the crab is a darker variation it started out turquoise and the black went over top of it so just about everything except for that has turquoise in it somewhere in it even from Martin Luther King and this raven to my splatter patterns definitely in the Michelle and Barack Obama pieces even in the shirt this piece right here has a lot of it in it but I don't want to make this video too long especially not talking about anything just walking around looking at my paintings so please let me know what you think um, there's gonna be more videos more artists we have all kinds of mediums and everything and different works and different styles that people like doing and everything so please look out for the Ray Ford Studio and check our, webs our website therayfordstudio.com and let us know what you think